Hello guys, so I'm going here for another Adobe Flash tutorial. This one will be on shading, so yeah, let's get started. Basically right here, I've just drawn an apple out. If you guys didn't really tell, let me straight it out down here. So you guys know what I'm trying to draw. So what that great of a draw of an artist. If I, if you can even consider me an artist. You know, down. Whatever. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this per for like personal preference. Let's drag this. Just so you guys can see what I'm trying to do. So yeah, here's an apple. Um, what I like what I like to do for shading is use the brush tool. A lot I hear a lot of people use the pencil tool, but it doesn't really work for me. So yeah, what I use, I mean, what I do is I select the color of the object. So say yeah, this is red. I select the eyedropper tool, and then I select it, and you'll now get it in your color color area over here. If not over here in the color panel. Um, what I do is I drag this down some, like that, this little slider right here, let's drag that down some, and basically, I do this, just like draw it on there. Now when it comes to shading, you always want to have, like, um, where you're, like, you gotta, you gotta have in mind, like, where your light source is. So my light source is, like, right here, sort of. It's kind of pointing in that direction. So, yeah, so this area right here would sort of be shaded. And this part right, this, oh, this part right here would be getting all the, all the, um, what's it called? The glare, I guess, or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. But basically, it's been taking all the impact from the light source. And I basically like just fool around. Oh crap! Put it in, sp put it in spot other spots as well, like down here. I'm not really sure if that would that's where it would go, but yeah. Perfect this apple. And yeah looks really ugly but yeah it's so basically my tutorial on shading let's just delete this sorry if you didn't find it that informative but let you know what let's just do that again then let's create a little green circle okay for the paint bucket tool and like I did before, say we had this selected and it's like on the color panel. And now you want to select this color right here. Press I or the eyedropper tool and select the color that you want to shade or make it like half shadows. And come up come over here to the color panel and just drag this slider down. This slider right here down. And now what I do is I get the the brush tool and just color in the spots that aren't receiving any light. Oh, gotta make sure though that, like, uh, never mind. So yeah, you know what? I could do something else. Say the light source is coming from right here. I like say this is the light source. It's kind of shooting its light on like right here. So depending on how strong it is, the see, depending on how, like say like if the light source is pretty like the lights the lights pretty strong, then the shadows can be pretty small, like that. But say the light source is pretty dim, the shadows can be even bigger, like that. So yeah, that's pretty much just that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Sorry if it sucked. I'm not really that good at explaining shading. 
So yeah. What? No, never mind. So yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you found this informative. Cause I'm I really suck at explaining things. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day and peace.